Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today is a video that I've been wanting to do for so long now. I was just painting my brother's new house. I got paint everywhere. It's been a long morning, but it's finally time to go camping. We're about 15, 20 minutes away from where we're going to be camping tonight, and my really, really good friend Todd is going to be there. If you're new to the channel, you might not know Todd as well as other people, but I've been friends with Todd for years now, and collectively we've probably filmed over a hundred videos together all right we're gonna go to the grocery store just grab something small and quick to make and we also have about a hundred pounds of boxes in the trunk of the bed right now oh i'm so nervous Well, I didn't know what I wanted, but it looks like we're doing soup tonight. I got a bunch of like international snacks that we can try. Some from Mexico and Japan. I got a couple different snacks. We got a lot going on. Today's video is indeed sponsored by Blue Eddie. And if you don't know what Blue Eddie is, well, I promise you by the end of this video, you will. <laughs> Pretty much this entire video is because of Blue Eddy, this would not be happening without them. So I appreciate the heck out of them. They will be linked down below. Can't miss them. Click that link, check them out. But let's get to the pond and meet up with Todd because that's where everything's gonna go down. I'm so excited. You ready to see this? Sorta. <laughs> All right, ready? Merry Christmas. One, two. <laughs> Woo! Look at the size of these. Holy. Yeah, I haven't looked anything. I wanted to wait for you and make this as raw as possible. <laughs> Let's do it, because we got a lot more room to open these things up in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, that's not bad. Sick. Ooh. What a man. All right, here we go. We're gonna unbox this. We have obviously two massive boxes. Like like I said to you guys, Blue Eddie, they sent me a bunch of stuff. Uh, I believe there's a massive power bank, a small expansion power bank, and then I don't know if they sent a solar panel. I have literally no clue, but we're gonna open this up. These things are lifesavers, even if you don't camp. It's good for your van, truck camping, Camping in the woods does not matter, or if you just need something, if you run out of power. I'm yeah. excited to see the size of this one. Box cutter from the 1900s. What can I say? Boop. Uh -oh. oh, a box in a box. Damn. Hmm. Caramba. Oh, wow, dude. Have mercy on our souls. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. This one... You can put your phones on there. Why are that's too, charging? It's too. I've looked at this thing too much. You, like you've already, looked into them, huh? Yeah, yeah I've already. I like Blue Eddie. I, dude, I've heard. It just looks so good. Many good. I've things. looked up a bunch of like other YouTube. This was like like years ago. Yeah. And I've been keeping up with it lately because of the van, and I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna end up using. So, this is just making me super jelly. Let's get it out. Good <laughs> gracious. <laughs> Okay. Hold on. You're kidding. I can wireless charging pad. What? Can See, I thought I did my research, but I guess not. You didn't know the wireless thing was on the top? No. I think they do that on, on a couple of them. What? Look at your face, dude. You're so stoked. Here. This is so cool. Time to, let's get us closer now that that thing's gone. What, dude? That's the perfect size, dude. Charge an RV with this one. This is the one that actually can actually, like if your buddy's RV, goes down you can use this as a generator for your buddy's rv because we don't have rvs so i'm just saying our buddy does uh, it need to be charged i don't know hot dog <laughs> it's at 74 percent let's see you have two different battery extensions that can go in for your solar and, and then, then you have an adapter oh this goes in here. okay that's your adapter to plug into uh like your house for shore power 
Um, and then this is DC input. So this you can charge with your alternator in your car, I believe. Wow. This thing can handle a light bulb for a hundred hours. hundred hours you can have a light bulb plugged in. Just talking about like a highlight that I noticed right away is its touch screen, which I've personally never seen in a power bank before. They're just keeping up with technology. <laughs> All right, got it. AC. This is regular voltage coming out of your house is AC voltage. Yep. So anything, this is all going to be AC. It's your like higher power basically. Okay. And then you got the DC stuff. That's like what your car batteries and the battery itself is doing. So the, this battery has not only a battery, but a converter in it. Sweet. Or inverter, I should say. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> DC, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. Um, so before we continue, I have a couple things to say. So this is like the system you would want, right? 100%. Okay, cool. So I've been planning this for a month. This is yours. What? Yeah. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, this one's yours. Don't even, dude. No, I swear to God, this is yours. Oh my God. Yeah. You make me cry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Taya knows, Lila knows, everyone knows, and we've, oh been, we've been planning this for like a month. I need you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I just wanted you to like hype it up and talk about it so I could tell you what you <laughs> Yeah, it's all yours, bud. So, yeah. I made Todd cry. Let's go. <laughs> That's from like my life goal for good things, though, not like a bad thing. <laughs> take a second to take it all in. Take it all in. <laughs> Here you go. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> it's all yours. That is so cool. Does this have to stay on my lap? All right. Now that the cat's out of the bag. We have another box to open up still. This is, this is also big. What the heck, Ricky? What the heck? It's like a big boom box. So this one has a battery indicator. It's obviously not touch screen because that thing's just an un ungodly beast. Yeah. But this one will tell you how much battery is left. USB-C, USB-A, 12 DC, battery extension to go to that, correct? But and yeah, most of the time you're probably not even gonna use this like unless it's attached to this but you could just go ahead and take this into like a tent with you yeah so you can just have this charge up and just 100 percent. so the only way this thing charges is by that is that what no I'm... there's an input right here that's the same input wow. that's the same input you could get a second backup if you needed it i mean this thing would power your home this thing powers a, a regular standard refrigerator for like over a full day by itself that was your gopro think of this man and what no what a mess what a mess anyways so it comes packed with 2048 watt hours and ultra durable lfp cells and a 2200 watt full power pure shine wave inverter the ac 200 max can be your mobile recharge center off the grid or on the way to off the grid power stations are great for powering your van truck camping or anything you do outside for an excursion for extra capacity you can add a battery module up to two and plug it into its solar input port the b230 expansion battery expands the total capacity to a staggering 8100 watt hours. The charging capacity allows up to 900 watts of solar input and 500 watts via the adapter, which you can charge up via your wall outlet and solar panels simultaneously. This means you're able to fully charge the unit in less than two hours. The outlet versatility with the AC200 Max's 16 outlets, you can run all your needs simultaneously without breaking a sweat. And especially for the RV enthusiasts like us, the AC200 Max has a specially designed built-in 30A NEMA TT30 outlet and a 12 volt 30 amp super powerful DC outlet. Link down below. This is the AC300 Max in the B230 uh, battery expansion. So yeah, definitely go check them out. 
or the sorry excuse me expansion battery either way beautiful systems they're super, just super dope i just gotta quickly say thank you to uh blue eddie and the, and more of a thank you to this an incredible human right here we do what we can oh, out here well don't forget about that time <laughs> you saved saved my um ice fishing tent in the middle of the lake todd and i almost died ice fishing Go. <laughs> yeah, it's just the beginning, baby. <laughs> this is Becca from the future, and today Todd and I will be putting these bad boys to the test. And we're only going to be getting our power source from the AC200 Max and the battery expansion. We're going to combine both of these, use their power, and we're going to be building a birdhouse because Todd and I totally know how to build a birdhouse. 100% know how to build a, a birdhouse. Yes, 100%. That's us builders and then you guys can comment down below who built a better birdhouse i i think it might be neither of us <laughs> there isn't gonna be a winner todd's got his wireless charging pad on charging his phone because he's so cool and fancy that wireless charging pad's amazing all right let's plug in this in One foot. This is gonna be so cool. I'm hanging mine up like a trophy. AC 200 Max has almost 900 solar watts, which is about twice as much as the other brands on the market. There's seven different ways to charge it. So you'll never run out of options. I just ran out of nails, out of my nail gun though. And not to mention, there's 16 different outlets and ways to charge. Endless options on what you want to do with your Blue Eddy. I highly recommend going down below and checking them out. Absolutely incredible power systems. Um, it's been a dream come true to work with them. I've always, always wanted to even just hold one in my hand and the fact that now I'm working with them just kind of blows my mind. Super, super thankful. Literally the best power station on the market in my opinion. So good that we're building a birdhouse. Another really cool feature is there's no sawdust getting inside the ports right now because unlike other systems, they have a port cover. So right here, there's one, two. I mean, every single one has port cover. You can see all that sawdust isn't gonna get in because it is being protected by these things, which is absolutely incredible, especially because Todd's gonna be using this thing like there's no tomorrow. And I guarantee you there could be a lot of dirt. Ta-da! So as you can see, they might get a few splinters, but it was made with love and it's meant for um, hawks, like like hawks, not like blue jays. We don't eagles. care about that. Yeah, like eagles, big boys, maybe some crows or whatever. Um, Smartest bird on the planet. A couple nails just kind of accidentally <laughs> missed about a hundred times. <laughs> you know why? Who cares? <laughs> Thank you so much. To Blue Eddie for sponsoring this video. I had a lot of fun with this and it's a it's a dream sponsorship for sure. And I can't wait to see what Todd does with these beautiful units. Make sure to go check out his channel, see what he ends up doing with them. Maybe I'll have some in the future. Who knows? Kinda need them. Blue Eddie, please. I love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, back to the prepaid program and let's go camping. Truck. Just come in my truck to grab.
grab a snack and a drink. You've never had these before? Unbelievable. But I also got something I've never seen before. This is called apple nectar. Where is this from? Guatemala. Ooh, Guatemalan. That's pretty cool. I need something to drink, so. And I already know what that tastes like. It's just apple juice. It doesn't even taste like Twix. I mean, Twix. Trix. This tastes like sweet popcorn. It's okay. <laughs> the big boxes are so funny. A <laughs> disaster. <laughs> oh man, oh man. It's been a long, long day. But it's time to make some dinner. Money is tight. I promise. <laughs> this is the last time I'm doing this for quite some time where we make just a quick meal. I personally enjoy making really cool dishes when I get to go camping with you guys. It's just, it's just fun, you know? But we're kicking it old school. There's nothing wrong with going camping with, with just a can of soup. It, that's just the reality of 90% of the time. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. So if anything, this is definitely more of a relatable meal, but I just really enjoy um, getting to do cool dishes with you guys, so. gonna be a below freezing night it is below freezing right now it's gonna get down to the low of 28 um and the best thing you could possibly do is have some nice warm soup warm hot chocolate anything to warm your body up never try this one but amy's makes some really great soups so i can't imagine it's gonna be bad but we'll see this is french country vegetable never tried it but i have high hopes honestly First things first, let's make sure this um, heated blanket's going because this heated blanket is the only thing that's going to keep us really warm tonight. Hot. I thought it was going to be spicy for some reason, but it's not. But it's definitely not spicy. There's a whole mushroom. This is good. Do I look tired? Cause I just, I can't wait to sleep. I think I get some of my best nights sleeping ever in the truck. Like I sleep really good at home, but when I sleep in the truck, it's just, I know I'm about to get the best sleep I've had in a couple of days, you know? I don't know what it is. It's just like so weird. But the best sleep I ever, ever get is when I truck camp with Lila and Sky. Me, well, I usually sleep over here, right? Or do I sleep over there? No, yeah. Me, no, yes. Me, Lila, and Sky at the end of the bed by far some of the best nights of my entire life anyways i had a good day we gave to add the blue eddy which i've been wanting to do for a month plus like this has been in the works for so long i can't believe i didn't say anything like i didn't spoil the surprise i am very bad at secrets um terrible i'm most definitely not gonna finish all that soup because we got something something going on I got some international snacks, platanitos, platin, platatin, I'm just scared I'm going to mess this up. I know, plantain, plantain chips, platanitos with lime. So it's a banana. I love international snacks. 
that's an acquired taste. I don't hate that. We have Dulce de Leche wafers. Probably butchered that. Oh yeah. These look delicious. Where's this from? New Jersey, but this was in the international snack aisle, so I don't know. Oh god, yeah. Oh my goodness. Like that wafer texture. Oh my. This is yes. Yes. It's a yes for me. I'm gonna definitely hit the hay, go to bed. It's been a long day, which I think I've said like 50 times already, but yeah, definitely been a long day. Todd's asleep in his van already, so hopefully we uh whew, catch a fish tonight, but if not, I won't really mind not being woken up. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna hit the hay. Appreciate you guys. Um, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs> It's 5 a.m. The alarms just went off and we had a fish on, but it just came off. So I was halfway out of the truck, ready to go see the fish, but <sighs> these slimy little guys came off. That's okay though. Good morning. Thank you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know I did. I had so much fun. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And yeah, just the videos are going to keep coming. That's all I got for you guys. And I'll catch you beautiful people on the next one.